Hey guys, this is Nuno Sheik and from past few tutorials I'm working on a um, video tutorial series of developing employee management system portal using MVC, PHP MVC framework, coding manager and HTML CSS framework bootstrap. In my last video I completed the functionality of qualification details. I successfully uh, able to display qualification details now if I just try okay. Go to dashboard. Okay, here you can see I can display the details. Uh, then in this video I will uh, show you how to create a breadcrumb. So to create a breadcrumb, you just you need to go to our Bootstrap, Bootswatch website. And from here we need to look for breadcrumb. Breadcrumbs. Just take get the code copy and come to header. Okay, now we will have this new strap paste it. Okay, I got the bread from here. I just build, I need to build the functionality for it. So, let's do okay. this two dollar first, first two. I will do this based on the URL. Based on the URL, I will try to um, change the pages and I will display uh, the active pages names in my breadcrumb. So, HTTP forward slash dot. I will use a server variable as server. Server name. Okay, then server, server of request URL. Okay. Let's just try to print what we got from this. Okay, we got the path of our current page so I will use an if condition to validate the pages inside this dollar post Slash dot dollar underscore server server name. Okay. Then in that case, and I will append our project name as HRMS reports, HRMS reports for it, slash dashboard. Okay. R um, we just copy this complete 
code and paste it here okay. and that's for PHP then what I will do is in this case I will try to display this one home only on my on my page condition and the next condition I will display this this it here okay. We have not created the employee uh, URL here, so in our uh, next videos we will do that. And okay, and let's just log out now and try to log in as a uh, as an employee. Like, if you try to log in as an employee now. It's still taking us to the dashboard. And now, uh, we need to set one more condition here. This session. user id is set then only i should display this breadcrumb else i should not show anything okay. and then let us see This session set user data set. Okay, it was user data, guys. Okay, it was user data, not the set user data. Previous guy was user set user data. Okay, so let's user data. 
to log in as admin we are now getting the web call and log out now and now just try to log in as, log in as an employee okay. so it's taking us to the dashboard so we should avoid this when an employee uh, get login we should take them to the different uh, dashboard which is employee dashboard so let's do that now okay for that we need to go to our login here we need to check for one condition if user id then we are going to check if user id is equals to equals to one then Take this part and paste it here. Else, take this section out and okay, paste it here. And okay. Now here, in this session. section paste it here okay and now we should go to our dashboard this dashboard controller here we need to put another condition else if dollar this session User ID is not equal to one. Then I should load some different view. This load view of EMP dashboard. Okay. Here inside login. Okay, here inside login, I'm checking whether the user ID uh, who is going to login, whose um, uh, his user ID is equal to one. That is, if that user who is getting logged in is admin. If that is admin, then I'll be taking that user to my dashboard. Or else, if this some different user, then I'll be taking to the dashboard uh, controller also. But uh, when I came to my dashboard controller here i'm also checking for the user id if the user id is not equal to one then i'm taking them to different view okay not equal to one now in that sense uh, if employee is getting logged in right now then i'm taking them, them to the different view which is emp dashboard just copy this and create a view as save it okay PHP include PHP copy PHP uh, 
Employee dashboard. Okay, let's check on. Okay, now you can see our dashboard. Our dashboard is changed because employees employee was logged in at this time. That's why our dashboard gets changed. Now let's log out now. And try to log in as an admin. See, you can see I am getting a different dashboard because admin gets logged in here. Here. You can see our breadcrumb is not displaying properly. When I'm in my dashboard, it should display only the home page. Okay, when I click on this any of the employee, at this time it should display me home and employee both. Okay. Yeah. Some problem. Yeah. Just this. And now refresh. Okay. Now if I come to my dashboard you can see i'm getting only home link and if i come to my employee section i'll get home slash employee and if i log out and try to log in again as employee so okay. see i'll be redirected to employee dashboard okay log out log in as an admin now and again this is done with our, our breadcrumb and in my next video i will complete the functionality of deleting the art deleting the employees from our portal okay i hope you got something is uh, useful information from this video if you like this video subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video thanks for uh, watching guys